You are listening to Sean Kelly Interviews, a presentation of Sean Kelly on Movies at www.skonmovies.com. Now, here is your host, Sean Kelly. Hello and welcome to this edition of uh, Sean Kelly Interviews. Today I am going to uh, post the interview I did at uh, Hot Docs this past year with director Michael Del Monte and uh, subject Jeanne Marie Croc uh, about the documentary Transformer, which opens this week at the Carlton Cinema in Toronto. So uh, here's my interview and I hope you enjoy. So, um, how did this uh, film come to be? Janae was born. <laughs> you could start, maybe. Um, so, I was outed publicly as being transgender back in um, July of 2015. And I had already been out to my family and friends, fortunately, and the people close to me. But I was a professional powerlifter and was actually, um, had broken the all-time world record a few years before that. And had, you know, achieved a, a fair amount of success in powerlifting, been in magazines and all that kind of stuff. But then I was outed publicly and, um, you know, turned my life upside down. Well, one of the videographers, that works with Michael, a good friend of both of ours now, um, had, had shot me for one of my sponsors when I was competing um, in powerlifting still as an athlete. And he contacted Michael and said, hey, I know this person, and I think this is a story you should look into. And then I'll let you, yeah. let Michael, take the story from there. I, I was interested in why men in particular, like those bodybuilders, why they put on such yeah. in, in, insane amounts of muscle. Mm -hmm. And so, but so few of them were willing to talk honestly about why they put on the muscle and what was really inside themselves. And so it was an interesting um, conversation I had with Janae. We, I drove down and met her and just realized that it was going to be a, um, a difficult journey for her to, initially she had expressed an interest in losing her muscle mm -hmm. to become, at, during her transition and then realizing that that's, that was going to be pretty hard to do. So we kind of talked and, and agreed to, uh, you know, what our, what our goal of the film would be and then we set off and, and yeah, it was about two and a half years ago when that started. So um, what is the uh, approximate time frame that the film takes place over? Well, we, we, we do a little bit of a backstory of her life, mm -hmm. but in terms of our filming, I mean, we, we picked up the story just after the, the outing, mm -hmm. um, which was Ju July. I mean, our first shoot was a couple months after, so mm -hmm. October 2015, and then it took us about six months to get our financing in order, and then we started filming with a crew. We did some sporadic shoots during that period, but May 2016 was our first full crew, and then we did a year, a year with Janae. Uh, uh, after that. Actually, I actually kind of want to talk about the outing but because I saw it in the film and it seemed a bit mean spirited. And so I just want to wonder what, what were the thoughts of being outed on YouTube? Yeah, it was. Um, I mean, on one hand, we, we knew that this could happen because I had been very open about being transgender. Um, you know, like I said, family and friends had known for like a decade. And I was also pretty open about it in the powerlifting community, but only with like my friends and fellow competitors. So like at the elite level, pretty much everyone knew and I was very open about it. I was even open with some of my sponsors that when I got you know closer to certain people and realized like I felt those were people I could share with, I had. But there were still some of my major sponsors that had no idea and the fan base had no idea. And what we knew was that there was a chance that it would get back to someone who would try to out me. Um, but when it happened, it turned my life upside down way more than I expected. Um, you know, it was. I don't know what the guy's intention was. You know, I'm not. You know, I'm not him. I don't know. I think it was really just for views. Um, so, and it did go viral right away. But, um, but yeah. I mean, outing anyone is just you know, it's, it's a really cruel thing to do. And my biggest concern was I was afraid of how that would affect my boys. And um, so that was my initial concern. You know, are their teachers going to treat them different? What about their coaches? Their friends? Are they going to have a hard time at school? Are their friends' parents going to say stuff to them? And fortunately, that's all gone better than we thought it would. But it, you know, it was definitely a difficult thing, and but as soon as I was out, and I said, "Well, if my story is going to be told, I, I need to be the one to tell that." And and then it also allowed me to just get into activism and stuff. So that was definitely a good thing. But yeah, it was, it was difficult, and and uh, you know, we dealt with it the best way we could. So, um, well, do you regret how? Negatively, the outing affected your powerlifting career, and you wish if you could continue it, if you could. No, you know I don't have any regrets about any of that. Um, I mean, yeah, it was hard being dropped by my sponsors, and, 
but fortunately, I had accomplished you know most of my main goals at, by that point already. So I, I didn't feel like I left anything um, unfulfilled. You know, my big thing was getting the all-time world record in my weight class, which I was able to do back in 2009. So you know, so that so I didn't have a feeling of like regret with that. And, but it, you know, on the same hand, it allowed me to move forward with activism, which was very important to me. But but it hurt. I mean, at the time, to, to be with like a company for close to a decade and for them to be really happy with you, and then to find out this and find out who you really are, and to have them drop you, yeah, that was painful for someone to say, we don't want you, be, not because of what you've done, but because of who you are. I mean, that's a, that's a really hard thing to understand. Do you believe that how um, gender is defined in sports should be changed? You know, that's a complicated question, um, and, and I think a lot of research needs to be done and everything, but. I mean, and on one hand, there are physiological differences between males and females. Males produce more testosterone, they're larger, and carry more muscle mass on average. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean one's superior over the other, but as far as rules governing those bodies, um, you know, that's, it's, it's difficult to put everybody into one group and, and have fair competition. And then, of course, you know, that brings up transgender athletes, and, and so far, you know, more research is needed as well, but so far the research shows that after at least one year of hormone therapy, there does not appear to be a significant advantage. I was a bit surprised that you opted to actually show the surgeries on film, so I was wondering why you decided to do that, because it was quite graphic. Well, first off, I, I mean, we talked to Janae about it yeah. and made sure it was okay with her <laughs> to film her face being, you know, and I, uh, the reason for, there was a point, you know, it wasn't just for to be, you know, graphic and to get views, of course. I mean, the point was to show that there was, this was irreversible. Mm -hmm. This wasn't just a decision you make lightly yeah. and you change your name and you move on. You know, this was a permanent decision. Mm -hmm. This, and I think we make light of that in society. Mm -hmm. You know, like this, this is, this is, this is a big thing that's going on. This is a real thing you're doing to yourself. And and you saw Janae struggling with that decision, and it's not something so simple. It's very hard and complicated. I thought it was very important for us not to desensitize that and just really just show, you know, I, I, you know, sometimes we just put too many screens in front of our eyes, and sometimes it's, it is important and necessary to remove it. So I'm, I apologize maybe to make some people too squeamish, <laughs> but I think we needed some of that. One of the things in the film is um, like, well, Janae's uh, parents and how they're kind of like trying to still grasp the transition. So I wonder if your relationship has improved. Um, I mean, I would say it's largely pretty similar. I mean, you know, the thing is, I know my parents love me. I know they're not going to, you know, force me out of their lives like what happens with a lot of transgender people. But at the same time, um, you know, they, they still struggle with it and it's still hard. And, and But I try to understand, you know, we came from a very small town and and I, and I feel bad for the things they still have to deal with, people coming up to them and saying negative things about me and telling, telling them it's my, you know, their fault that I'm the way I am and there's something wrong with me, so that's hard. But, um, I mean, like I said, they love me, I'll still be a part of their lives and I'll still be in mine. Um, you know, would it, would it be nice if they were 100% accepting? Of course, you know, of course. I, I would love for them just to accept me as I am, and, and, uh, but, but I'm thankful that they are still in my life, and even though we struggle with it and it's hard to have conversations, you know, like I said, they, they haven't completely disowned me. So, so um, what are you hoping that people ultimately take away from Transformer? Um, I, I hope it creates some good, healthy dialogue around this subject because I think it's become so politicized and it's caused so much division amongst people and you know we've, we've put the we've put the flag in the ground and say stand on this side or this side and have your opinion and Janae and I our goal from the start was to try and create something that could remove that flag so to speak uh, bring people together to create something that would create conversation amongst people who would not otherwise speak to one another so that's our that's my ultimate goal with the film is just to show her story for what it is and let people um, watch it, uh, take something out of it, and, and maybe learn something, and uh, maybe be able to talk more accepting or openly or, you know, empathetically about it. Yeah, I mean, that's the first time Michael and I met, I said, I said look, you know, this is, for me, this isn't about, I don't, I don't have no interest in being some kind of reality TV star or anything like that. For me, I, I want to be able to inspire people like me, and I want to be able to educate people that don't understand. If we can do those two things, then it'll all be worth it. So really, that, that's what it was all about, just like Michael said, like, in, and hopefully reaching a demographic that otherwise would have no interest in a, in a transgender film. And, and this really isn't a transgender film. This is just a film about a person, myself, you know, struggling to figure out who I am and, and how to be happy. And I, and I think we all can relate to that. But with my background from powerlifting and Marine Corps and all those things, I, I think that we'll reach a segment of society, you know, that, that masculine 
um, side of the macho guys and, and jocks that you know maybe will take some interest in this or otherwise would they never be interested in, in something of this nature because I think in a, in a lot of ways those are the people that need to you know be educated the most and uh, so hopefully you know they just come into it with an open mind and they can understand and and realize you know I'm, I'm a person like everyone else and I have hopes and dreams and and uh, you know there's really we're transgender people as a whole we're not that different from everyone else other than our gender identities and and I think that's you know that that's a piece that's been missing from the conversation and of all the things that are said about us you know it, it's it gets overlooked that you know we're like everyone else in a lot of ways it's just the gender identity that makes us seem so different and that's a good note to end on and that was my review for the documentary uh, Transformer. Uh, the film is the winner of the Audience Award from the 2018 Hot Talks Film Festival. And it will be playing at the Imagine Cinemas Carlton Cinema uh, starting on Friday, October 19th. You can get showtimes at... Uh, ImagineCinemas.com slash cinema slash Carlton dash cinema. Or just go to ImagineCinemas.com. And that's it for today, and I will see you next time. Sean Kelly Interviews is a production of Sean Kelly on Movies and is hosted by Sean Kelly. The music is Out of the Fog from the website Podsummit.com. You can support Sean Kelly and get bonus podcasts at patreon.com slash sk on movies and you can read sean kelly's writing at www.skonmovies.com